Act 2011 features a number of significant enhancements such as smart tasks and Outlook integration uh, and also a link with Hoover's which is the online arm of Dun & Bradstreet bringing financial information about contacts, companies, uh, potential contacts directly into your Act database. There are also some uh, I suppose smaller enhancements which make the system more user friendly uh, and these start on the welcome page which is laid out in a more simple way uh, with a number of links to documents within the online user manuals so uh, the user can just select the link and it just opens up the correct page in the user manual and just goes directly to the feature that they've selected with simple text based steps guiding them through each step of the process so the user manuals were always there under the help menu but these quick links on the welcome page just make the obvious ones the most necessary ones more accessible there's also a bunch of online videos as well that can be linked to from this welcome page uh, these are also used to showcase some of the new features in ACT welcome. I'm not going to go through those in any detail but if I go to the contact screen, the main screen, you'll notice also that one or two enhancements to make finding the right data simple. Uh, starting off on the history tab you'll find that you can now filter by the type of history at a very granular level. Existing app users will note that previously this only allowed you to select between uh, emails sent, documents attached and all other history types were gathered together under one, uh, under one heading whereas now you can be very specific, very granular in the type of information uh, that you're looking for. They're broken down by uh, multiple tiers of category. Uh, there's also a, a back button which has been introduced that I think is, is really good and people have been asking for this for a long time. So whatever you're doing in ACT you can easily track back to where you were a few months ago. So if I go forward to the company screen then to the group screen and then uh, back to the contact screen and perhaps do a, uh, a search by all contacts in the City of London and then I use the back button I can step back through each stage of that process so back to the contact screen back to groups and then to companies and then to where I started on the contact detail screen so a very welcome uh, addition there one of the uh, more significant features of ACT is that it's much easier now to get data into the database previously you had to create a text file so whether your data was in an Excel spreadsheet or some other format you had to save it as a CSV file or a text file and import it uh, from, from there. Uh, the other uh, frustrating part of the process was that if there were fields of information contained within your spreadsheet that didn't exist in ACT, you actually had to go into ACT first of all and create those fields. Well now you don't, it's a much more straightforward process and you can import directly from an Excel spreadsheet even creating new fields on the fly. So uh, a simple example of that here is an Excel spreadsheet with three fields of information. I've just got a, a contact name, a company, and uh, I've added a new field here called contract level. So if I go to my database and run the import wizard, as normal, it's file import, and I get the import wizard as I did before. And under the type of file I want to import, you can see I've now got Excel for Microsoft Excel. I just need to browse to the file that I want to import and I've just called this one test delete and click next and confirm that these are contact records I'm importing. I don't, you can do a typical import which assumes a, a series of default settings which most users would find quite helpful on a day to day basis but on this particular occasion I want to do a custom import because I want to tell the system to create a new field as it imports the so as I uh, click next, uh, the import wizard looks at the spreadsheet and finds the column headers that I use, company, contact and contract level, and it's been able to map company and contact to ACT fields, but of course it's not been able to do that with contract level because it simply doesn't exist in my ACT database. But at the top of the list of available fields, I've got an option now, create new ACT field, which I'll select and click next. And then the system wants me to confirm the name of the field and the character length of the field so it assumes 50 which is the default uh, that's fine I'm going to call the field contract level same as the column header in the spreadsheet and uh, basically that that's it click finish uh, act will then import those new records and also create that new field it imports the data and creates the field it's now prompting me to make a modification to my layout so I can determine where those new fields will appear so I'll say yes please do and it takes me into the layout designer 
uh, into the main contact screen and I can drop those new fields in so in the normal way click on field which gives me the crosshair that I need to locate the fields approximately where I want them and as I release that button it pops a list of available fields including now contract level the one that's just been automatically created so I'm not going to mess around tidying that up too much let me just close down the uh, the layout designer and if I now return to the detail view you'll see I've got a new field contract level with the data in that's been imported from my spreadsheet so that's importing directly from Excel spreadsheets one of the new features in Act 2011